New at 9, a North Little Rock woman speaking out tonight after she says her ceiling started to fall in. And because of health issues, she says she can't continue to live there until it's fixed. Problem is, two weeks have passed and nothing's been done. So now she's holding back on paying rent. Our Alexis Wainwright has been following the story and has more. This elderly woman tells me she's been living in this apartment since November, December. She said she's had issues in the past. But this latest issue with the ceiling is where she draws the line. This is what 71-year-old Mary Norris' bedroom looked like on Monday. I call them out two or three weeks. They'll never answer. Norris says she's been having the same issues with her apartment for weeks. And after several unanswered calls, when she did talk with someone, she says she asked, well, Where are you going to fix the ball? And she said, uh, she don't have anything to do with that. This is the ceiling in her bedroom. It started out as a small hole. Her granddaughter says they're still waiting for someone to come and fix it. It's very frustrating, especially when you call them, you know, to be professional, and they're just like, it doesn't matter where it's rent. In addition to everything else, Nora says there's mold growing in her bedroom. And with her underlying health issues, she's afraid to live there right now. And so I had to get out of there because it did plus a bunch. No, bring the machine. I did go to the leasing office and spoke with an employee who told me the situation is being handled. I reached out to the Brookside Properties, the property management team. They say they couldn't give any information on the record since my name is not on the lease. Meanwhile, Bolden says this is hard to deal with because of Norris's age on top of the coronavirus pandemic. During this pandemic time, you should be able to, you know, you're human as well. Be, you know, be sympathetic with people, especially the elderly. The family says that an employee did stop by Monday to look at this damage, but they didn't say when it would be fixed. Now, they did ask for a rent payment and said that they will move forward with an attorney for an eviction process. Reporting in North Little Rock, Alexis Wainwright, back to you.